Good morning and welcome to forexforstudyprofit.com. Uh, I use the Commitment of Traders report, which comes out every week on a Friday, and uh, I need to give me an idea of uh, market direction. Uh, I analyze the ratios of longs to shorts for the commercials and non-commercials, and I also look at the divergence on the pairs, and uh, it gives me an idea of market direction. We'll just go and have a quick look at the charts. So here we have the uh, commitment of traders information in its raw form. You get the non-commercial positions and the commercial positions, uh, long and short, and then you get the uh, change in open interest. And you also get that broken down underneath for longs and shorts for both the commercials and the non-commercials. And we can see this broken down into a graph over a period of time, which also gives us comparatives, which are also very useful to um, look back on the history. And so we'll go and do that right now. And here we have a graph of the positions over uh, 52 weeks, that's a year, for the commitment of traders of the commercials and non-commercials. And this is for the Australian dollar. This chart is produced by cotbase.com. Um, and you can see here where we got to a low position with the commercials and we're completely opposite to the speculators uh, and they, they've got a long position so uh, we're short. You can see we had a big drop off in the price of the Australian dollar. Uh, conversely, when we were at a high and very bullish for the commercials and we were fairly bearish for the non-commercials that we actually had a hike in uh, the rise of the price of the Australian dollar. This is a very useful tool to be using. And uh, we can show you other ways that we use it and uh, other things that we do with it. So here we have the Australian dollar, US dollar, and we've got the RSI. Now, if we put a trend line on the RSI and we wait for it to go above the 69.1 and come back down and cut through it, this gives us a sell signal. Now, this obviously would have been a very good sell signal here. We had a sell signal here indicating this big long fall that we've had. And quite recently, uh, we've had a, um, a, a rise in the price of the Australian dollar, which it's just going through the 50 here. And I'm expecting it to turn back down and cut through the trend line, which will give us another sell signal because we have an extreme position of uh, short uh, the commercials and long the non-commercials on the commitment of traders report. And this should be quite a long sustained downward um, trend, which is always very profitable. Last bit of information. This is Ludwig's divergence calculator and it works really well. And this helps us with the crosses. These are the uh, currencies against the US dollar. And here we have the crosses calculated and it gives us a, a divergence value uh, uh, between the commercials and the non-commercials. And it shows some of the pairs that are of more interest than others. Uh, a very useful tool, only available on the members center. And um, it's uh, we, the, the pairs that are of most interest, we do feature on the video on the Member Centre every day. So you get a daily video on those. Good morning and welcome. It's the 17th of October. It's just after nine o'clock <coughs> and we'll start with the Australian dollar. Uh, we've had a little bit of a pullback on the dollar, but we have a ratio of 7.42 to one short uh, by the commercials. Also the RSI, my... Um, the RSI has cut my trend line, uh, so <clears throat> uh, I, I'm calling this short. Um, we've got um, falling house prices in Australia. Uh, the um, uh, Reserve Bank of Australia have kept uh, the interest levels at one and a half percent, the overnighting levels. So that's that's sort of like fair play to them. They've kept their banking industry fairly robust. Uh, they've got uh, falling car sales and um, generally their biggest customer uh, is uh, China uh, who, who are slowing down a little bit. Um, 
their uh, mining industry is a little bit in the doldrums and that iron ore in particular is 20% of their uh, exports. So <coughs> I, I see this actually um, as short and you can see the commercials basically think the same thing. So um, especially on the crosses, I'm, I'm looking uh, for a, a good return on this this month. Commercial short ratio of 1.32 to 1. This is the pound against the US dollar. Uh, we've seen again the same thing, a pullback, and uh, it's starting to fade a little bit now. Uh, we have crossed my trend line, um, and uh, you know I, I think this is a good short from here. Although, as I've said before, I, I do like the pound on the crosses better. Um, <coughs> Did I say we've cut my trend line on the RSI? We're still above the 50 though, uh, at about 52. So um, um, I'm calling that short, but uh, like I say, I prefer it on the crosses. Uh, USD, Canadian dollar, uh, this has started uh, to take off. Uh, we're well above the 50, we're at 58. So uh, I think we're gonna see quite a lot of strength in this pair uh, in the next couple of weeks. So. Um, We've got a, a, a ratio of 3.95 to 1, uh, short the Canadian dollar, long the pair. So <laughs> there we go. Euro, a USD. We've had uh, four days short. Uh, I've just put another trade in and put some stops behind trades at, at the top here. Uh, I'm very pleased with the way this has gone. Uh, we have a commercial short ratio of 1.74 to 1, which is fairly extreme because it's been long for, for about the last two or three years. Uh, we're below the 50 on the RSI, uh, and I see this uh, now continuing down. So um, I'm looking to get, as it goes down, I'll put more stops in and take, uh, take further trades out. <coughs> USD, uh, Japanese yen. <sighs> Now, I see a bit of a pullback in this, um, but actually I'm, I'm on the sidelines here because I, I think there's better opportunity um, with the uh, Japanese yen against commodity currencies <coughs> and, um, and also with the US dollar against commodity cur currencies. I'm basically bullish of uh, both of those. Uh, we have a commercial uh, ratio of 3.47 to 1, long the Japanese yen, short this pair. But I'm expecting a bit of a pullback. That's a reduced ratio. Uh, so I am expecting a bit of a pullback and uh, we'll see where this goes from here. New Zealand, US dollar. Uh, we've seen, like I say, this pullback. It seems to be about exhausted. Uh, <coughs> we're just below the 50 on the RSI and uh, we've been flat for the last couple of days. Uh, so um, I, I'm waiting for this to break through my trend line. Uh, we've got a commercials ratio of 1.67 to 1 short, which is very small. Uh, it's a lot less than it has been. So. Um, uh, not over keen on getting into this. Silver. Silver. Well, we went up nicely on the RSI and uh, we touched my uh, resistance line on the um, RSI and we've bounced back through the um, uh, trend line. And uh, I think this is going to come down nicely now. Uh, there's lovely action on silver, the way it goes up and it comes down fairly steadily. Uh, I think this is going to continue down uh, and I think we're looking to come down to somewhere about this sort of level, about the 15. So uh, th that will be a really nice trade. <clears throat> Oil. Well, I do see it as a sell from here. Um, I don't know uh, how much longer it's going to take for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the Americans to get back online with their oil production. Uh, but that's what they say is the um, is the reason why it's continuing up is uh, the the uh, the Florida uh, oil production <coughs> uh, is offline because of the uh, the storms that they've had. So um, at at this level here, I mean it, this is second time recently it's been at this level. This is a four hour chart. Um, 
uh, I, I think I think this is a good sell. Uh, we're coming up to resistance on the RSI. Um, we'll well we'll see how it goes, but uh, I don't see it getting a lot higher than it is already. Okay, well thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you again tomorrow. Cheers.